This is the Windows Start menu today. But this is how it all started. Let's look at the evolution of the Start menu of the Windows operating system. Starting with Windows 95, I really enjoy how this start menu looks like because it's very simple. The previous Windows versions, those ones didn't have a start menu, they had only like uh, something different. I wanted to check out some customization for this one, but I could not find it at first until I did a quick Google search. What we have to do is head over to start menu, settings, taskbar, and here we can see that we have start menu programs right here. All we can do is clear the documents menu. Yeah, this one's clear now. We can add or remove items from the start menu. Let's maybe remove Internet Explorer. And is it gone? Yes, it's gone. So this is Windows 98, the second edition, and the start menu is right here. Right away, it does look like an immediate improvement of the Windows 95 one. I also think this one is really great, mainly because it's the same simple design and you can find everything that you need. But there are a few more features. There's the Windows Update tab or button. There, I see favorites now we have, and yeah. But now let's check out what are the customization options. So I can see that here we have taskbar and start menu and right here we have the same menu start menu programs we can clear is there even anything here and we can once again add or remove some new programs okay and we can remove some stuff let's remove opera this one is pretty similar to the previous one this one is that one failed edition of Windows. Or actually, there's many failed editions of Windows, but this one is one of the first ones. And the start menu is located also here, of course. It looks mostly similar to the Windows 98 one. I think we can agree on that. And what customization options do we have? We can go to settings, taskbar, and start menu. Show small icons in start menu. Okay, so these are big icons. Then I apply this one, and now it's different. There's no longer that sidebar then let's go to advanced okay so this is the same thing this is the documents once again let's try to clear and now it's clean we can add some icons to the start menu okay then we can remove stuff let's remove opera why are the icons so different like they look like this right here and they look completely different right here and we also have this menu display favorites and what happens if i disable everything how does it look like and now it's completely empty okay so windows millennial edition has introduced quite a bit more customization so that's pretty cool and right here i have windows 2000 shut up at the first glance it's also what do you want from me? At the first glance, it's really similar to the previous ones, of course. And immediately I see a new button, which is set program access and defaults. Why is it so slow? Oh my god, what do you want from me, Windows? No, shut up. Okay, so this is a... Oh, can you... S and let's check out the customization. Where, where's the log, in, log off button? Maybe we can toggle it back on in the settings. So let's go to some customization options. Taskbar and start menu. Show small icons. This one is also here. And yeah, we can, we can do that. It is exactly the same. Except maybe with a few small differences. Display log off. Display favorites. And now these are back here. Okay. And you can just enable a bunch of stuff. That's pretty basic but it's pretty cool. Your computer might be at risk. I know that very well at this point. Okay, so this is, I guess, a newer era of Windows. The Windows start menu and actually everything has a new design. Let's go over here and open the start menu. And this is a much more different design than the previous ones. What I can do here that I couldn't do in the previous start menus is I can right click and we have some kind of properties option. And this is where customization comes in. Let's check that out later. First of all, what do I I think about how does it look? How do I offend the least amount of people? I guess Windows XP Star Menu is okay. It's a bit more complex than the previous ones, but I guess you can still find everything that you need. What I do like is that there's a lot more color. You can immediately spot the button that you actually need. There's a second panel alongside this one. It's just visually different, mainly. Functionally, it's the same. What do I do if I need to search for a program? The Windows search? Is that what I use? Internet 
Now let's check out the customization options. Select this menu style for easy access. Classic start menu. Apply. You can actually get back the old start menu as well if you don't like the new one. Let's toggle back on the normal one and customize. There's small icons. Okay, now they are small. Why are these ones not small? And now advanced. Favorites menu. Help and support. Apply. So that's the Windows XP start menu. Okay, Windows Vista. This is the first Windows version with the Aero team. You know, the, the glass team on the Windows and everything. And start menu here is just a circular button. In the previous ones, it was like a, like a freaking block. And this one is also quite the evolution. I personally think that this is the peak of Windows start menu design. You have two sections divided and each of them are in a different color. That kind of makes it easier to do stuff. What new features have appeared? Um, help me out. There is this button that I keep mistaking this button for the power off button. But actually it's not the power off button, it's more like low power state. I guess it's like a sleep or something. Shutdown is actually here in the arrow. Okay, wait, there's the start search. This is what I was looking for in Windows XP. In this version of Windows you can finally search for what program you want and then open it this way. And this one has changed as well. It's no longer going horizontally it's all, all vertical in one place and you can just open folders like this leave a comment down below if you disagree with me or anything i would really like to hear your thoughts and now let's check out the customization let's go to start menu how does the classic look like it really doesn't fit with the together with the arrow I'm gonna keep it to this one. So let's go to customize. Immediately this looks very different, the customization menu. You can toggle on some extra features as well. So this one I really like. I enjoy Windows Vista. Okay, Windows 7. And the start menu is also a circular button which lights up once you hover over it. So let's see how does it look like. Why are these ones highlighted? Okay, okay, I understand. So when it adds new items to the start menu, it highlights them. But anyways, this one is pretty much the same as the Windows Vista. I don't see the sleep button anymore. I kind of prefer the Windows Vista look a bit more maybe, but this is a close second. This is also really great. So I can search for stuff that's not new, but it's there. Once again, the icons change when you hover over stuff. Here are all the programs. This one is also the same as Vista. Probably privacy store and display recently open programs so that's this highlight right here this one is also largely the same recent items to display four and now it shows only four items so that's the windows 7 start menu for you Windows 8. This one also marks the beginning of a new era. And with that, it also completely transforms the start menu. If you are in the desktop mode, you can open up the start menu by going left bottom corner. And then you, then you click on it and it opens up the start menu. This was quite a controversial start menu back in the day. People didn't like it and I don't really enjoy it as well. Let's open up the calendar and all of the icons open up Microsoft accounts. Ew. Ew. Is the program closed? I don't I don't know. It doesn't seem like it is. Okay, and also one way to access the start menu is to bring up this sidebar right here and you can just click on start and it opens up the start menu. And if I right click anywhere it opens up this one, bottom bar or whatever. And you have this all apps menu. Here you can access all of your applications and we can also search for stuff. I find it quite unintuitive and I don't like it. So what do I think of how it looks like? It's not for me, not at all. I would never use this willingly. And what are the customization options? I, I know you could move tiles around. You can, I guess, reorganize them and probably, yeah, you can make them smaller as well and larger. Was there anything in the settings? How am I supposed to? Open the settings. Customize your start screen. So there are a bit of customization options, but it seems like I need to activate my windows before I can personalize my PC. From what I can tell, we can change the background of the start menu and we can change the highlight color. That seems like all you can change. So that's Windows 8. 
I just logged in and it threw me in this desktop. So let's go to this start menu button right here and let's click on it and it brings up the same start menu from Windows 8. Pretty much the same opinion as Windows 8 because this is the same thing. And there are a few more options. We can now size this one up to large. This has changed a little bit. There's now the button. We can shut down from here. Search and my profile. Oh, and we can name groups. Main, whatever. Okay, we can name some groups and there's an arrow right here as well, which opens up the apps menu. Now let's check out some more customization options. What, was there anything? Why is this settings menu so difficult to use? Where's the start menu customization options? It's so freaking difficult to navigate around the settings. Okay, change the background and colors and start. So the customization options menu is a bit different as well. It now opens up the start menu and the settings on the side. We have a few backgrounds options, background color options, and we have accent color options. So there are three different things we can customize. It's pretty simple. Windows 10. And this one also marks the beginning of a new era. This version of Windows brought back the more traditional start menu. And here immediately we can see we have a bit of bloatware, but I guess you can get rid of it easily. So that's fine. I guess it also kept some features from Windows 8, like these tiles and the Metro apps. Here we can see we have all of our programs and I'm sure everyone already knows this start menu way too well. What do I think about it? I think this is one of the most usable start menus of Windows. I like it, basically, what I'm saying. What are some new features apart from the previous version? We have this section right here, we have this section here, and then we have another section here for the power options for the settings and everything else. Okay. Are there any right-click options? I'm trying to right-click, but nothing is coming up. Oh, and it's slightly animated as well. Let's check out the customization options. So let's go to settings, personalization, and start. You need to activate your windows before you can personalize your PC. Okay, I fixed that. There are a few customization options. We can show more tiles. Oh yeah, there's space for a few more tiles here. Show app list in start menu. Yeah, we can simplify that a little bit. So yeah, changing start menu color. You can also do that. Show accent color on the following surfaces. Let's make it red. And now everything is color red alongside with the start menu. I like that. The Windows 10 start menu is really solid. So that's Windows 10 for you. And then finally we get to Windows 11. Here by default Windows start menu comes in the middle, not in the left corner. And when we open it, it looks like this. This is also quite a very different design from Windows 10. I, I think I have heard lots of good about it, but also lots of bad about this start menu. Apparently this start menu, or at least some sections of it, are a React application. And what that means is that when you use certain functionality, your resource usage tends to spike like a little bit, or actually not, not a little bit, but quite a lot, quite noticeably. And also one thing is that when you use the search feature, there's a lot of ads and co-pilot. Oh my God, I hate this guy. Can I, can I even turn this stuff off? Please tell me I can turn this off. About the looks of the start menu, I like how it looks visually, but I do not like the advertisements and the co-pilot. How can I disable all of this garbage? Even if you can turn it off, why is it not straightforward? What is that one? Microsoft Rewards Balance. What the hell? What is Microsoft Rewards? I have never seen this feature before. The hell is Microsoft Rewards? Okay. I personally don't want most of this stuff in my start menu. Are you crazy, Microsoft? Who asked for this? And I'm not exactly sure how to turn it off. This is horrible. You can probably turn this off through the Windows registry. Visually, I like how it looks. Wait, let's see how it looks like when it's on the left side. And now everything is in the left side. Although it kind it kind of doesn't fit right. I was so thrown off by the bloatware, by the ads, the copilot, and other Microsoft crap that I completely forgot to look at most of the customization. You can do a lot of the stuff that you can't do on Windows 10, and you can also change the start menu in color, just like on Windows 10. Anyway, watch this video how I deleted System32 on every Windows version, and I'll be back.